Hey folks, thanks for your patience. We're, 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 we're pretty much dialed in and we're getting ready to go here to close out the Worcester Arts Fest, the very first annual. I see some potential twirlers in the field. Yeah, I see you. I see you. And uh, just get ready to twirl. We're going to freak out. Freak out like a bunch of Worcester freaks and beyond. So excited I finally get to play music. I've been yapping all day long. But watching amazing artists and poets and authors. and So it's great. Roll, roll on in and uh, just within a couple minutes we're going to get going. Hi, Patty. This is my great friend, Patty. She's amazing. Okay, we love you a lot. And I uh, can't wait to make music for you. Uh, hey folks, we had a lost necklace out there that somebody brought to me. Does this look familiar on the back? It says, Ask, ask the Raven, Elena. This is a personal, uh, it's, um, I'm actually about to put it on. Um, but uh, this is a, uh, a really beautiful necklace that was uh, on the front, of course. It's not just a clever thing on the back. There is a raven. Um, ceramic. Hey, we want to thank Orca for being here today. They're captured the whole day. What's your, what's your name? This is Simon. Sean was here earlier. They passed it off. So uh, thanks to Orca for capturing the very first Worcester Arts Fest. Anybody, anybody, a, a raven necklace? Chad's going to put it on. Josh said it won't fit my fat neck. Is that really nice of him? It might be. Oh, shoot, he's right. All right, oh, well. Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, Josh. Did I just call myself Schwarzenegger? Muscular neck, thank you. Sure.
gentlemen <laughs> what a beautiful day it has been and uh, to close out this Worcester Arts Fest I'd like to introduce my myself but really the amazing band that uh, rocks my socks off that I've been looking forward to all day to get to actually play some music as well and uh, this is Primo on guitar, that's JJ on the bass, it's Tommy drove all the way from Connecticut on the drums, and this is Peterman, Chris Peterman on the sax. Together we are uh, five-ninths of the Chad Hollister band. So to close it out, we feel very honored to do so. Thanks for being here today. This is a brand new song. We're gonna ease you into our set. This is called Inner Sovereignty, being released in a couple of weeks. A song I wrote with my sister, and it goes just like this.
Thank you. It's called Inner Sovereignty. I wrote that one with my sister, Kip Hollister, and it's our first venture together. And as my beautiful wife, Katie O'Rourke, um, says, Kip operates on a different plane uh, of just, I don't really know how to explain it other than um, I feel in a great way that I'm here and that she's kind of up here. So if we can meet somewhere in the middle, uh, that's where we did on Inner Sovereignty. So uh, it's so beautiful. We had the uh, principal cellist of the Vermont Symphony Orchestra, John, I'm spacing on John's last name, sorry John, um, but uh, play a brilliant cello part. And I will just say that my favorite instrument in the world, Michael Close, is cello. It's like, can you get any better? I, I don't know. I don't know if you can get any better than cello, but um, and Michael Close is a dear friend. How about a hand for all the musicians playing today? Michael Close is one of them. And his daughter, Rosie. I love my band. These guys are so insane. Truly, like, it, like, like, insane. Man, this is so fun. I can't believe I get to play more songs. So one of the monikers of my life, and of, I'll say of my whole band's life, as we travel around and get to play for people, is about kindness. And it's not hard. It's actually really easy. But as I, uh, as we've seen out there, <laughs> sorry for the piecemeal. It's so there's so much peop there there's so much out there that's not kind. And so, with the simplest little thing in your life, you can just emote kindness, right? Grocery store. My kids laugh at me. Riley Bodie, they're like, here he goes. But like in the grocery store, when you see the grocery store person in line there, uh, uh, checking you out, do you really think that that person wants to be there? No. But it's a job, and they're making, they're making some money to pay some bills. But if you do my little trick, and you see their name tag, you see Dylan on their name tag, you say, hey, Dylan. And they're like, like, do I know you? Like, am I supposed to know you? And then you kind of just point at their name tag. They're like, oh. Now, here's the thing. When you use somebody's name, do you know what happens? I learned this, and maybe everybody knows this, because people are like, oh, people have talked about that for years, Chad. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know it. When you use somebody's name, it releases endorphins in yourself and in the person. I think that's really cool. So, this song is the tip of the iceberg about being kind. And it's called, Be Kind. Oh. 
all would wash away And then the waters fill the wells We can soak up all the hell Just be kind everybody. We encourage dancing. Who wants to dance? I want to dance. Yeah, Mark. That's called Be Kind. So I have to say, this gentleman has been to so many of our shows and exudes the, the just, we, we talk about him wherever we go in the most beautiful of ways. Yeah, so does that dog. And this is Mark the Turtle Man, and you know, because he's our, he's local, you know. There, who cares more about turtles than Mark? Who, who puts up signs, stop for turtles? Mark. Who tells you, who brings turtles to your house and shows them to your kids? Mark. Uh, anyway, we love him so much. And I just, uh, as, uh, we were, as we were coming, somebody, we were, uh, today, somebody was like, man, I hope Mark's going to be there. And I'm like, oh, he's going to be there because he loves to dance. But I just, I love the energy uh, of you, Mark. And I just want to put that out uh, to the whole beautiful community that, like, you bring beauty to this community. Uh, but you also bring it elsewhere. And, and I don't mind, Mark, when you go and dance to other bands. <laughs> he, was, he, he went to like dance to Cat Right, and I was like, dude, you, you were totally cheating on me. 
I, he, he's not completely off base to say that because I was divorced for 25 years and didn't dance at all, hardly ever, you know, it was married, you know, weddings. And then when I did, like, um, became free to do as I wished, my first experience was with this guy down at Town Hall right in Worcester. So he was like my... Dude, I love that. Yeah, yeah, he was like, you know, the guy for many years. That, see, look at that. Man. Make, make a grown man cry. Seriously, though, that's the beauty. Like, this is, Wor this is Worcester freaking Vermont, you guys, gals, people. This is amazing. Has this been an amazing day? Oh, my God. No, no, I'm not accepting that. That wasn't enough. Has this been an amazing day? Thank you. I just can't thank uh, the whole team enough. Um, and David Book, you are an inspiration. Um, uh, Julia Hewitt, good Lord, you are just uh, Julia on the harp. Like, you know when you don't know what people really do? and then you see them do like their thing that you never dreamed that they could do. Well, I saw Julia do that thing today when she played. Julia, how many strings on the harp? Yeah, who's counting? Julia does. Uh, 36 strings. Like who can do that? No, no, not me. I'm lucky to pluck six of them. Anyway, Julia and just our whole team, um, uh, Caitlin I, and Julia, you're gonna have to help me. But so Caitlin, Katie O'Rourke, um, uh, we had Michael Close. Alan Gilbert, amazing author. Uh, yes, Rick Agrin joined us towards the end. Thank you, Rick. Um, and Neha Shukla was, was help, an immense help. And when we, Katie, oh, uh, believe me, I talked about my wife. I'd get in big trouble if I didn't, trust me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there, there were, uh, and Amy, Amy, was, uh, Amy helped us design our logo. Amy's here today dancing her face off and, and helped us set up these tents and just was, uh, that, that logo that was right out there was, a, it was an Amy design, so thank you. Um, just, it takes, I mean, taking a village, it sounds funny, but it does take a village to put on a festival for a village. Um, and beyond, but we just appreciate y'all so much. So let's play some more music.
this music that's got to take me to the other world. Yeah, Beth, get it, girl. It's Beth Delano on the dance floor. Might be a cheetah, might be a lion. Wow, might be a little squirrel. Oh. Um, once Primo does one of those solos, at the end of it, if you feel it, if you really feel it, kind of like you did because you gave some serious applause, you just go, Primo! There you go. That's it. And then at the end of a sexy sax solo, you go, Primo! Okay. That one was a little rusty. It's okay. We're all about coaching. Coachability, man. Right, Steve? Man. It's like a festival, dude. No, it is a festival, right? Like the way it spreads out here. See you out there. I see you out there on the lawn, Ryan and Carly. Yeah. The south, is that the, that's the, uh, let's see, that's the North Lawn. Yeah, the North Latfield Lawn. Yeah. Well, this world tree. From within, yeah. Yeah, you're riding Tommy's drums, baby. Out into the sea. When you come on back, baby, you're gonna find yourself a new. Someone that you never knew. Hey! Is here, yeah. Yeah.
Merci beaucoup. That's Primo on the lead guitar. There it is. There it is. Uh huh. Man, this is so good. Hey, is Alex here? Alex, are you back from walking the dog and doing so? I don't think Alex is back yet. So we can't. No, he. he no, oh yeah, he is. Uh, uh, come up. Come up here, buddy. So there, there is life, there's life moments when you, um, you realize you're doing the right thing. Alex gave me one of those today. So he said, hey man, you know, I, I first saw you play at the Chandler Music Hall with Brady Crane. And somebody, who else was there, Alex? Okay, it was the two of us. Brady was opening the show. And he said, man, that was an awesome show. And I was like, man, cool, thank you. Thank you very much. And he said, you know, and we talked, we chatted a little bit more, and his lovely partner, what is your name? Anna? Anna had a, uh, was an artist here today. How about a hand for all the artists? Uh, Anna right here and everybody else. Thank you, Anna. And he said, um, he said, the highlight for me, that day, he's, you, were, you were 13? He was 13, look at, look, he's like a grown man now. How could that be possible? Because I was, I was only t 20, right? Dude, you were 13. That's ridiculous, because there's no way that's possible. I don't know how that, and then, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I am 55 years young. And, and so that's, that's how that's possible. Just putting it out there, man. And so he said my favorite song that day was Jesus, Bon Jovi, and Tarzan. And I was like, what? Like 13, how many years ago was it? What are you, like 55 now? What? 20 years ago. So you were 33 years young. Buddy, you look good. Shh. But that's like, that's what it's all about. Like, like you remembered in one of my songs. And not only that, but this song was written um, by my beautiful wife, Katie O'Rourke, who's one of our artists today. How about a hand for Katie O'Rourke? She's amazing. We were living in Rutland, Vermont at the time, and she woke up one morning and she said, do you know who my top three men are? This is at the beginning of our relationship, folks. So I was thinking, hmm. This guy, you know, I'm totally, totally in the top three. Uh-uh. She said, my top three men are Jesus. Hard to argue with that dude. Bon Jovi. I could maybe put up an argument, but I really like him. And Tarzan. Can you argue with Tarzan? Not really. And if you do, you're going to lose. Kid grew up in the junk, you know, the whole thing. I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> so I, I remembered those words. And I wrote this song for her. And I don't really, I never win anything like competitions. I have entered stuff, but I won in this one. I won first place in the Billboard Songwriting Contest for this song, Alex. And we were on tour in Colorado, and my manager said, pull over and told me the news. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I actually won something. I won a guitar and, I don't know, Pro Tools or something like that that's out of date because it was 75 years ago. But, Alex, this is for you, dude, and this is the beauty of music and playing your original music. I want to just thank all the artists today for just playing their own music and playing whatever music they chose. Um, this is a really long-winded story, Alex, but it is, it is inspired by you, buddy. This is called Jesus Bon Jovi and Tarzan for Alex and Anna. She says her top three men are Jesus. Bon Jovi, Tarzan. <laughs> I said, hey, baby, I got all that they got. A plus a little surprise I can do. 
with my hands. She says, can you walk on water and got those disciples who believe in you? <laughs> I said, disciples, I don't know, but I'll take you for a ride in my old town. gives love a real bad night. She says, can you swing from tree to tree? So effortlessly like my big man. My big man on the jungle. Tree to tree, I just cannot see what I'm telling you. I am the king. I am the king of the bongo. Catching on. Catching on, it's an interactive show. It's not just about us. Just because we're 12 inches high don't mean we're in charge. <laughs> Everybody wants what it needs. Everybody's got to have some. And everybody craves every single day so many ways. Everybody wants, everybody needs, everybody's got to have some, yeah. Love.
That's for you, buddy. Thanks for remembering my song. And my beautiful wife, Katie O'Rourke, who's just crazy awesome. Thanks for buying art today, too. People had a really good time today, I feel. This is so amazing. Like, the first one usually doesn't go this well. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, that was the first one. You remember that one? <laughs> Thank you, Julia. You can always count on Julia to laugh at my jokes and David Book's jokes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dave, Dave, sometimes David's are not quite that, is that funny? No, I'm kidding, where is he? DB, crush. DB has this, he wore this shirt to, to a meeting one night that said crush, orange crush, you know? So his nickname now is crush. And much to his dismay, yeah. But I, I, I think he kind of likes it. So when you see DB, you say, what's up, crush? <laughs> see? Look, Julia thinks that's funny. Oh my gosh. This is really got great. A feedback loop going. <laughs> We're laughing at you, laughing at us, laughing at you. With you. I want to thank Willie for hooking us up with some power today. That's when you all go crazy a little bit. Yeah. We we had a little meeting. I came I came and I came down and Josh is setting up and he's like, hey, what are we doing for power? I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> you know, there's so many things, and I'm not really great at, at, at details. Um, but my team's always so amazing. Uh, well, my team's Katie, pretty much. So Katie's amazing. But uh, so I was like, uh oh. So I, I I drove down to Willie's house. Like, what do you do in a local town when you don't have power? Well, you drive to the fire chief's house. And and Willie wasn't there. And Susie Q was there, and she's like, oh no, he's on a call. Sorry, but it's two doors down from the firehouse. So just go over there. You know, so that's what I did. So I got my van, my minivan, and I drove to the firehouse and I parked and, and I realized there was something, you know, somebody who got sick today and, and needed to be taken away in an ambulance. So power can pretty much come second, right? So that, that comes first. And it, literally, he had been on how many calls before that? Two calls before that. And how many calls did you have today total? Three. That's still a lot uh, on a Saturday, you know, when you want to just chill and relax. But anyway, point being that... Uh, uh, this community is always just rises to the occasion. So he comes out, he goes, I don't, I don't really have any um, extension cord. Well, I got a couple. And uh, so they worked and uh, he gave us power. So thank you for the power. Thank you for the power. <laughs> Oh, man.
go. There's two of you that have been listening. It's all good. You don't have to listen. Just sit and hang out, have fun, dance. How about him with the dancers? I love the dancers like out in the far field. Josh was like, hey, there are my genius kids out there beating, beating each other up on the basketball court. <laughs> I want to put a huge thanks out to uh, the sixth member of the band. And he ran it all day long today. He's been out on tour with us. He's dealt with the pain that it is to be a sound guy for the Chad Hollister Band all across the United States of America. One of my dearest friends, a family man, Mr. Josh Niebling on the sound tonight. Josh Niebling, NSR sound. I love you, buddy. He's at the bar now. He's at the LBJ's bar. <laughs> no, really, where the hell is he? It's a green day, let's make it sunny. Hey, let's make it real nice. Yeah. Take a rainy day and let's make it. Let's make it sunny. Hey, take a rainy day and take it into that Worcester sweet, sweet, sweet night. Look at this sweet night. It's just been raining for days and days and days. Yeah. Let me know what's going to be. on the sound. There he is. <laughs> he was on the tour bus. So yeah, the Sienna band. Guilty. <laughs> hey kids, no running. No, I'm just kidding. Run all you want. <laughs> Keep running. Just don't do it on the stage. You'd be amazed. How people like see stage and they're like, ah, oh, I can just walk right on that, you know, go right through the stage. Like, you put up barriers, Jerry Johnson. <laughs> Can't attest to that. Yeah, just walk right through. Not these kids, though. Keep running. Run faster. Parents love it when you tie yourselves out. So I met the beautiful Katie O'Rourke when I was, uh, she was a waitress in Killington, Vermont. And uh, she was working at this bar called The Outback. And, uh, and I liked her a lot. And so did a lot of other fellows, let me tell you. And people are like, oh, oh gosh, you're so, you're <laughs> people say dumb things a lot of times. Like, oh, you're so lucky, like lucky to be with me? Mm-mm, no, no, no. Like, you know, just because of music, like, oh, does he sing to you every night? She's like, oh yeah, totally. <laughs> like, people just think about what you say before you say it. And you, you aren't the people that say it, but let me tell you, then people say some really crazy things. They're like, oh, he sings to you every night, and oh my gosh, you're so lucky. No, I, I am the lucky one, uh, let me tell you. And so I, I cornered her into uh, um, having dinner with me one night, but the, one night at the Outback, I, I brought her flowers. It, w it, was, it was not a weekend, it was not a holiday, it wasn't anything. And she looked at me and she said, oh, well, what are these for? And I was in my eloquent uh, musician way, I was like, I don't know. Seriously, I, I, because I didn't know, because I just wanted to bring her flowers, which was apparently really smart, because she said to me, oh, they're flowers for no reason. And I was like, uh-huh, exactly. So it took me 21 years to write the song, but uh, 
This is called Flowers for No Reason for that gorgeous redhead of mine, Katie O'Rourke. Flowers for no reason for Katie O'Rourke. The angel puts up with me. <laughs> here's, here's, so. <laughs> some woman, some woman, she, we, we were at a gig and she, she was really excited by the music. She was really excited. She loved it. And there's nothing more beautiful than that. But she, 
I'm sorry. I, it's so funny to me, to us. She comes up to Katie and she looks at her and she goes, you're married to that? <laughs> like, Katie's like, yeah? Well, it, it just was... Yeah, no, and that's Katie's whole thing is all the time. She's like, I know, I'm so like, there's never like, what do you mean I'm married to that? Like, oh my gosh, man. This, this town is so great, so fun to get to play my music. You know, Primo, well, I think on the 4th of July, we, we played once over there. We did a, a, a little thing over there. Uh, it was brief. Um, it was over there. Oh, 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 was it over at the landing? Yeah, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I did a solo thing, I think, right here. It was not good. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel very good about my performance, so I apologize for that. This one I feel really good about. They've been waiting for the apology. It's been 15 years, dude. Oh, sorry. Primo's got to fix my shirt. Sorry. There it is. Yeah, man. That's been driving me nuts for four songs. I, I just want to put a huge thanks out to Kyle and his crew and uh, to Woodbelly Pizza and also to Celia uh, Johnson Cerulli for the amazing food today, right? So good. Kyle was like, dude, how many people are going to come? And I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. And he's like, oh, I can't lose my shirt. I'm like, neither can we. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know. Well, not that we lose our shirt, but we just appreciate that so much. So, uh, uh, eating that food is great. And also, I just want to put a huge um, thanks out to Kyle for uh, bringing music to the landing down the road. So anything that's happened locally here, um, go there. Okay? Okay, that's all. We're shifting the set list, everybody. Is everybody, are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? Do you like your pasta? Did you get some? Did you get any pasta for me? No, that's a good thing because you know I don't totally don't even like pasta. What's your name? You forgot. Alice. The song's for Alice. It's called Doctor Bethesda. It's for you, Alice, and that amazing pasta and all these amazing families here in Worcester, Vermont. Moved here 18 years ago when Riley was six months old and she's graduating high school this year. Ah, this is Bethesda for you. Features Tommy Deal on the drums. Drove all the way up from Connecticut for one show. Just a finger, the moon waxes 
Prince of Wayne's picture, her tie bag plates, small jersey, don't steal it. Bring 50 cities of that thing, but a vein and a red day, so she won't go insane. 72 version of Sweet Jane. And oh yeah. Chris Peterman right there. That's Dr. Bethesda. How are you? <laughs> Thank y'all. We're firm believers in music healing. Uh, where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe and Shalini? Where are they? they are they, are they uh, elsewhere? You definitely can't do this one without them. Uh, Joe, are you close by? Dear friends of ours. Do you see him there? I see their, their chairs are still here. But uh, okay, uh, so we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Oh, okay, that's good. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Mom. Oh. Really tight set list here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ebbs and flows. You gotta do. You gotta do what's called for, right? <laughs> So I'm a self-proclaimed mama's boy. This is called Mama Knows. Yeah. Mama's gotta be 
just happened. And when you're gone, 
I sleep diagonal in my bed when you are here. I sleep lengthwise. And when you're gone, I sleep diagonal in my bed. And I ever in my bed now. Diagonal in my bed now. Diagonal in my bed now. song actually. It was written by Julia. Oh. Woodbelly is gonna pack up but guess what? They're gonna sell their pizzas but Peterman... Uh, two slices for me please. Uh, two slices for the sax player please. There before before it all sells out. They're gonna sell their slices for two dollars a piece. That's a really great deal. So get them while they're hot. <laughs> no seriously. While they're hot. Slices are two bucks. Thanks, Woodbelly. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Riley and Maddox. How are you guys? Riley Odelia's here, everybody. All right. And her sweet boyfriend, Maddox. Hi, you guys. I love you. I love you very much. Two graduates from Montpelier High School and U32. Come on for that right there. Cheers. Maybe, maybe we will. So folks, I have to tell you about a very, 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 very special show. And it's right here on this sign. We are, for our third year in a row, we are playing the Trap Family Lodge Concert Meadow. And it is pretty much with this same band, although JJ, Jared was one of our original bass players. This is Jared Johnson on the bass this evening, all the way from Rutland, Vermont. He filled in because Rudy, our bass player, had a party to do down the road, and uh, and uh, so we love Rudy. But Rudy will be on the gig, and it is the, it will be this. Tommy will be kind of on a scaled down hybrid kit, but we are playing in the Trap Family Lodge Concert Meadow, and um, it, if you've never been there, please come. Um, tickets are on sale. This you can just scan this QR code. 
and take you to tickets. And here's the beauty about it is you can just bring whatever you want in. Um, no glass, no dogs, please, but uh, you can bring your food and your drink and your whole picnic, your chairs, your blanket, and sit in and then take it all with you. And that's all you got to do. So just, just grab tickets to the show. But um, we'd love to have you. Sunday, June 25 at the Trap Family Lodge Concert Meadow. And I will say, if there's somebody that doesn't have that much money right now, let me know, and I will guest you to the show. If you've got money, buy tickets. But if you don't, hit me up at Chad at Chad Music, and I will guest you to the show. And I mean that. Like, this community is too powerful, so I'd love to have you. Um, and, and, uh, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So uh, you should see it. Music is not about money, folks. Uh, it is about the blessing to get to play music. And uh, speaking of that, this goes out to Joe and Shalini. Joe is a, a, a testament of, of power and beauty in the human spirit. Um, he's kicking cancer's ass. Sorry, folks, kids. It's okay. And uh, he just, uh, was it a week ago? Yesterday. <laughs> Good God. No wonder Shalani's freaking out. He tried to hug me really hard, and she's like, stop it, honey. Yesterday, he had a tumor removed from his neck, and he's here today. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, so this song goes out to him and to his lovely wife. I got to play at their wedding celebration with one of my heroes that lives down the road, Mr. John Galemore. And uh, what, a, what, a fee, what a fest that was. If you've never been to an Indian wedding, I, I strongly encourage it because it goes on for 14 weeks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It went on for a few days, but I was there for one of them. So this is Breathe. Joe, you, you, you are so beautiful, and Shalini, uh, you are as well. And uh, this is Breathe for you too and for everybody else that wants to uh, remember to take a deep breath. Michael, I wish I had, uh, uh, is your cello close? Okay. Michael Close, just imagine Michael Close playing cello on this one because he did his Spruce Peak and he's a brilliant man and I love him very much. It's called Breathe. down and you've lost your crown in the clouds that seem so dark and you've lost who you are and the stone feels cold right down to your soul just I find your core in the dark of the earth And you crave your home and you're not alone And the air's your only friend Just breathe and breathe once again You need it all seems so black and white Just like that winter evening sky Just breathe and breathe once again See the ones again. Again. When the rain pours down, and you've almost drowned in the tears, and the water blends, and it's hard to see where. And then it's getting so cold And you're feeling old And there's a door Open her and walk in And you create your own And you're not alone And the air is your only friend Just breathe and breathe once again Seems so black and white. 
just like that winter evening sky. Just to breathe, oh, breathe once again. See once again. so black and white just like that Worcester Vermont winter evening sky that's the part where you all go crazy not just four of you do I have to tell you everything Just breathe and breathe once again, yeah. Just breathe and breathe once again. Who oh, just breathe, breathe once again, won't say. song from the radio, thanks to The Point and stations all over the country, all over the world playing that one. Hey, check out our Spotify channel. I, I used to have a real hard time with um, uh, streaming, and uh, Patty's and my friend Adam Ezra taught me differently. Uh, Adam, if anybody ever heard of Adam Ezra, he's ridiculous, good, great, and you should listen to him and follow him. Uh, but follow us first, and then... No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Follow him first, seriously. But um, streaming is like a crazy thing. But the more that you guys do it, um, we make like 37 more cents. But, <laughs> no, but it, it's about the whole community thing. And Adam has taught me so much about, I mean, I, I always came from a community place. But Adam Ezra is like, uh, I, I can't even describe him. Patty, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to stop. But. Uh, Get on to Chad Hollister um, and, and stream that and tell all your friends to do it. And, uh, and then we'll make four bucks and take you out for a switchback. <laughs> no, stop it. Quit it. No. <laughs> hey, Sarah's in town. Hi, Sarah. This is Neha right here. She's, she's one of our best friends. Neha and Jack and Chris and Ruby. Hey Ruby, uh, the uh, the the uh, girls lacrosse uh, from U32 are state champions. State freaking champions. 
And the boys lacrosse are also state champions for Division Three. Bodie Hollister was on that team. That's cool. So I think David Book said I had to play till 4 a.m. So I'm trying to pace myself here. Oh, the show's over. So, uh, all right, well, we're, we're, we're going to do another song for you. Let's go, uh, you want to go, wanna go wait? You can wait or you want to wait? Yeah, Riley's here. Let's do that one. So we're going to do, we're going to do another song for you. Is that okay? Three of you said yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day. Folks, Katie was here at 8.30 in the morning. I was here at 9.30. She's like, where were you? I'm like, I was at home. She, she, this, the whole team here, I just want to thank everybody at the Worcester Arts Fest for rocking it. Would you just put some love together? But it's been, a, it's been a long, long day, and we're, we're, we feel so honored to close it out. I just want to thank all the artists, all the poets, all the writers, all the musicians, and all the people for being here today in this strong, beautiful, gorgeous community that we uh, live, thrive, and survive. If you told me 18 years ago I was going to move to a town outside of Mont Montpelier, Vermont, I'd say, no, I wasn't. I grew up a Burlington snob. The only reason we came to Montpelier was to come on a field trip to the State House. And man, I'm so glad that I was dead wrong and that Tim Heaney called this place a bedroom community. It's not a bedroom community. It's the most vibrant family community that we've grown up in. And uh, so thanks to Tim for selling us our house here and for introducing us to Worcester, Vermont. Appreciate you. Gonna introduce my band one more time on the guitar and vocals. That's Jeff Primo Poremski. On the bass guitar, that is Jared JJ Johnson on the bass. On the saxophone, this is Dr. Christopher Peterman. And back there on the drums, all the way from Shelton, Connecticut, a new daddy of Ryan James. Tommy Deal on the drums. My name is Chad Hollister. I live at 58 Hampshire Hill Road. And this is Riley Odelia. We'll see you soon. This requires dancing. She when it's time to eat it back She gonna steal your heart With the wink of her blue eyes She take you away So many places
pass me over. No, 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 don't pass me by. See, I can see good things for you and I. Yeah, good things for you. She tells you when it's time to sleep. She tells you when it's time to eat. She's gonna steal all of y'all's hearts with the wake of her blue eyes. Yeah. She's gonna take you away. So many places that you never know, that you ever thought, that you ever dreamed even existed. So while she's Riley, come on, Riley, oh dear, yeah, yeah, Riley, Riley, oh dear, yeah, yeah, sing it now, Riley. Sing it, Jack. I see you, Ruby. I see you singing. I see you, Jack. Jack made me a, a stage statue that sits on my studio speakers. Thanks, man. Then the feel is up on Gould Hill. Top of Minister Brew. You know, there was one time where I sat out on my porch and I was playing Jim Bay drum. <laughs> and the neighbor on the other side of the hill, she said, Somebody playing drums the other night? I said, nope. I said, yes. It's cool. Travels. They can hear this in Montpelier.
chair and you were able to take it to town hall that would be amazing if you have a cushion chair and you're able to take it to the historical society society that would be dreamy please if you see garbage pick it up and put it in a bin that says garbage if you see something that's recyclable please put it in a recyclable bin okay we love you all thank you good night be safe you guys we appreciate you so much have a great time. I have a ton of merch that I didn't set up, so if anybody wants anything, uh, come see us. Good night. This concludes the Worcester Arts Fest 2023, first annual. Thank you. God bless y'all. Be safe. Be kind. Peace.